Tonight, federal agents are stepping in to try to help eradicate a dangerous drug out of Hayes County. Four teenagers have died from fentanyl overdoses in the last few months. They say they've already made two arrests, preventing hundreds of pills from going out into the community. KXN's Sarah Alsheh spoke to one family about their loss and why this extra help is so important. My son was everything. He was who made us parents. Fentanyl overdoses. It's taken the lives of four Hayes County teenagers this year alone. One of them was Darren and Shannon McConville's son. He changed me forever. I mean, uh, from the day he was born, he made me a better person. Shannon says she found out their son Kevin was taking Percocet and Xanax to help him sleep, but that this time he didn't know it was laced with fentanyl. It's an issue that has the full attention of law enforcement. Once it makes it into your community, it's it's there uh, and we uh, quite frankly we're going to have to dig it out. Thursday three different agencies the DEA Kyle PD and Hayes County Sheriff's Department shared a warning about the dangers of these fentanyl laced pills. This is an actual authentic pill. This is a fake pill. Unfortunately the fake pills look better in most cases than the actual pills themselves. Officials announced several new initiatives. One of them was an overdose task force. The goal of the task force is to track down and arrest uh, violent criminals peddling uh, fake fentanyl or fake uh, uh, pills containing fentanyl. Kyle police say so far arrests have been made from their investigations. The first is Anthony Jean Pettis Rios. One of them a 20 year old. He had nearly 400 counterfeit Percocet pills containing fentanyl. The other was just 16 years old, both from San Marcos. Officials say the fight against fentanyl is far from over, and they encourage the community to do its part in preventing the use of these pills. The McConvilles agree, urging people to speak up before it's too late. See something, say something. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. Law enforcement says drug cartels are using social media now to sell and disperse these fentanyl-laced pills. They say they're even sending direct messages to teenagers and using code names. The Hayes County Sheriff's Department also announced they are teaming up with fire and EMS to create an overdose map tracking system to help track fentanyl within the county.